I'm Percy Dovetonsils. American Revolutionary War hero Ethan Allen was born on this date, back in 1738. Of course, we continue to honor his heroics by selling furniture with his name, just like we do for General Levitz. On this date in 1776, American Revolutionary Thomas Paine published his influential pamphlet, Common Sense, which argued for the colonies breaking away from England. Of course, as we all know, common sense no longer has a place in American politics. In 1840, the penny post mail system began in the United States, which meant a lot of work for poor Penny. Mr. Post just sat around and made her do all the work. After a while, Penny Post got tired of delivering all that mail. On this date, in 1870, Standard Oil was created. And the Republican Party was born. O.P. Brig patented his invention on this date in 1882. He called it barbed wire. Unfortunately, someone climbed over his fence and stole it from him. If only he had. Oh, never mind. On this date in 1911, the first photo from an airplane was taken over San Diego. Thanks to the auto timer, it got some beautiful shots from 10,000 feet, 5,000 feet, and 2 feet. It showed an aerial shot of the young California as if a giant thumb attacked it. The tricky part was getting all the residents to say cheese simultaneously. The photographer said, I could see the world from up here. Wait. See world. See world. I've got an idea. They decided that it would be even more impressive the next time if they were flying. In 1946, the United States Army established the first radar contact with the moon. There hasn't been a speeder on the moon's surface, ever. On this date in 1949, RCA announced they were coming out with a revolutionary new way to listen to music, the 45. Do you remember your first one? Do you remember your last one? In 1976, the number one song in the country was Convoy by C.W. McCall. If you never heard it before, consider yourself lucky, good buddy. Over. On this date in 1983, President Reagan ordered White House staff members to stay away from the press to stop leaks. At least, that's what the assistant to the secretary's driver told me. Daddy Mac of Criss Cross turns 45 today. It makes you wanna, jump. Jump. But more carefully than you used to. It's possible I just named a person in a group you've never heard of. Pat Benatar turns 71 today, these days, she's settling for your second best shot. Former boxer and grill inventor George Foreman turns 75 today. Could you ask him a question or two but don't grill him? To some, he was a great boxer. To others, the guy responsible for introducing them to the grill of their dreams. Donald Fagan, half of Steely Dan, turns 76 today and is still reeling in the years. Rod Stewart turns 79 today and asks, Do you think I'm sexy? Have we told you lately? Happy birthday? Some say he has a gravelly voice. Others say it's more like crushed gravel. As a child, Rod gave himself that gravelly voice. When other kids played in their sandboxes, Rod ate his. Finally, I'm impressed how shrimp can grow so perfectly to fill their entire shell with meat. With exciting facts to clutter your mind, I'm Percy Dovetonsils, for KDAZ, Digital Broadcasting. And thanks for listening. <laughs>